So in this video we're going to use some more diagrams to try and get a feel of the overall structure of the liver and the the way the liver is composed of lobules. But from the front we notice that there's two main lobes in the liver. We've got the right lobe which is here, the larger right lobe and the smaller left lobe. So these are the lobes. Now there's actually two smaller lobes behind that you can't see from the front. But these are the large lobes, the large right lobe. And the smaller left lobe. <clears throat> and underneath here, we can just see the tip of the gallbladder underneath the right lobe. And there's a falciform ligament that we see separating the two lobes of the liver. Now, if we look at this in detail, <clears throat> we'll see that the liver is actually made up of these smaller lobules, these hepatic lobules. Now, these are traditionally described as hexagons. And in humans, they are reasonably hexagon, but they're not that regular. The original work was done in pigs, adult pigs, where and they do have very regular hexagonal lobules. But it's still basically accurate for humans. The liver is made up of these lobules. And these lobules are very small. They're probably about um, <clears throat> one, one to two millimetres in diameter. And they're actually uh, columns, uh, sort of the columnar shaped structures. So they might be about two millimetres long going into the plane of the diagram. So one to two millimetres in diameter. Now, if we look at a single hepatic lobule, so this is one lobule we're looking at here now one lobule and we see it's made up of um, hepatic plates. Now the hepatic plates are made up of individual hepatocytes. So there's a hepatocyte, there's a hepatocyte, there's a hepatocyte and of course in between these are all hepatocytes. So these are double rows of hepatocytes and that makes up a hepatic cellular plate. So here I'm colouring in in blue the hepatic cellular plates. And in the middle we have a central vein as well. Now <clears throat> around about the outside on the corners of the lobules we're going to have a branch of the hepatic artery, a branch of the hepatic portal vein and also we're going to have a, a bile channel. So there's a branch of the hepatic portal vein, a branch of the hepatic artery, and a bile channel. Now just focusing on the blood vessels at the moment, the blood from the hepatic portal vein and the hepatic artery are going to go into this area here, and this is the area of the sinusoid, the liver sinusoid. The blood's going to pass down through the sinusoid into the central vein for drainage, into the central vein where it will drain. So the blood is flowing from the outside inwards. And as the blood goes through, because the capillary walls of the sinusoid, if we draw those here, exaggerate the size, they're the capillary walls of the sinusoid, we see there's very large gaps in between the individual capillaries. So blood components can get to the hepatocytes and from the hepatocytes back into the blood so there can be exchange. And then when the material has been processed, it will drain into the central, lob uh, the central lobular vein. And if we look at that <clears throat> in another diagram, it's quite complicated this, but the best thing to do is just look at several diagrams to try and explain it. So what we have on this diagram is we have a branch of the hepatic artery, just here. 
putting blood into the sinusoid. So this is a sinusoid, these are sinusoids here. The blood is flowing in this direction from the center of the lobule, from the outside of the lobule to the center of the lobule towards this central collecting vein here. At the same time, blood from the hepatic portal vein, which I'm going to draw in blue here. As we've said before, the blood in the hepatic portal vein is partly oxygenated. <clears throat> but that will also go into the liver sinusoid, the liver capillary, and it will mix with the blood from the hepatic artery. And that blood will all drain towards the central vein. And again, this allows time for materials to be taken out of the blood into the liver cells. Here's the hepatic plates here. These rows of hepatocytes. The liver cells, the hepatocytes, quite large cells actually, and these are the functional units of the liver, forming these hepatic plates. So we see rows of hepatocytes composing cellular plates and the sinusoids in between here. They're the blood capillaries. The sinusoids are just the name for the blood capillaries in the liver really. With their very permeable walls. So blood is going into the sinusoid through a branch of the hepatic portal vein and a branch of the hepatic artery. Now the liver cells as we know the hepatocytes produce bile so what they have is this side of the hepatocyte here you could call that the blood facing side because that's in contact with the blood and the same there that's the blood facing side but the middle bit is the bile facing side let me show you what I mean by that so on this diagram <clears throat> we see an hepatocyte this would be the blood in the sinusoid on the sides just there so material from the blood will go into the hepatocyte for processing be chemically processed in the hepatocyte and can be excreted back into the blood but the bilirubin and the other components of the bile which are also produced in the liver cells are going to be excreted out of the other side of the hepatocyte into a bile channel, a caniculus in the middle. So the bile's produced here and goes into the caniculi. So what we see is that the hepatocytes have a blood facing side and a bile facing side. And carrying on with this explanation, let's look at another diagram. So here we have the <clears throat> central vein on top here. Now, here we have a branch of the hepatic artery taking blood into the sinusoid. So this is the sinusoid here. This is the sinusoid. Taking the blood through to the central vein. In this case, about 30% of the blood supply to the hepatic artery to the about 30% of the blood supply to the liver is from the hepatic artery. Most of the blood to the liver though comes from the um, hepatic portal vein. And that blood is also going to drain into the sinusoid, mixing with the blood from the hepatic artery, or going towards the central vein for for drainage. Here we have the individual hepatocytes. In these plates that we talked about, the hepatic plates. And we notice the hepatocytes have a blood facing side just here. Allowing material to go in and out from the blood. There we've coloured in the sinusoid, the liver capillary. 
and they have a bile facing side on the other side. So the bile is going to come out here, draining towards a, this is called a caniculus, the, the bile channel, this small channel between the rows of hepatocytes. And that's going to drain out into a bile collection channel. That will drain into larger bile channels, which will ultimately drain into the right and left hepatic duct. The hepatic portal vein and the hepatic artery are small branches of their requisite vessels. That's a branch of the hepatic portal vein. That's a branch of the hepatic artery. And central veins will join together to form larger veins, which will have ultimately join the hepatic veins to drain the blood back into the inferior vena cava. So what we see is that blood is flowing in one direction and bile is flowing in the other direction. The inward flow is actually called centripetal flow. So the blood is flowing in the centripetal direction and the bile is flowing out in the centrifugal direction. The flow of the blood and the bile in opposite directions. Now going on to yet another diagram, we said that these um, liver lobules are actually arranged in columns, a couple of millimetres high maybe. So here we see the hepatocytes in a more three-dimensional picture. And these are the individual hepatocytes, the liver cells. The actual individual liver cells are about um, 15 to 20 micrometers in diameter. They're quite big for cells. And we notice that the blood is, um, <clears throat> we haven't uh, illustrated the supply of blood vessels here, but here's the blood in the sinusoid. And we notice that the vascular endothelial cells comprising the capillaries have large gaps in between them. There's a large gap there. These are the fenestrations. So these fenestrations allow the movement of material through the gaps into the hepatocytes and then process material from the hepatocytes back into the blood. But I think you can see this is a sinusoid here. The blood is flowing here. That will be going towards the central vein. And the bile is flowing out the way. The bile is flowing out the way like that into the bile collection channel. So we've got the two directions of flow that we see there. 